subscribe to Fad1010. All right. <laughs> It just started raining, seems like a passing shower, it's cold front moving through. So I'm going to be heading over to the main portion of the boat show. I opted to take the shuttle bus to stay dry. And also going to be heading to the northern part. So I think that's going to bring us closer, a lot closer than if we took the water taxi, which brings us to the south end of the show. system's moving pretty fast. I think we kind of dodged it over here. We just were like on the tail end of it over by the swimming hall of fame where it is raining right now. <laughs> My favorite parking area. Let's see how much it is today. Let's go Brandon. Okay guys, so you might not believe the photo you saw, but he was saying the first day, I saw 200, but you said it even went higher. Yeah, we charge up to 300. Um, it comes to supply and demand issue, the more pork you run out of, you end up charging more. Um, these people are here to buy million dollar yachts, $300, they don't care, they just want to get their parking. This know. was the closest I've seen to the actual show, because I mean, it's like right there. And how many spaces do you have? We have 32 spaces, but with valet, we end up parking on 15. Okay, so it's it's real tight, really so the tight. The tighter it gets, the more expensive it gets. Okay, thanks. It's now 10.45 a.m. Already really busy. Leopard catamarans. Check out a video I did of one of them a few years ago. So we're over here by the Swimming Hall of Fame. You can see how they're doing all that construction. Saw the other day that banner that showed what it's going to be looking like. So over here, we just have a few boats from a uh, dealer. Seems like uh, right over here, Velocity, Tower Boats, authorized, I don't know. Let me see what's going on here. Because these have a lot more boats on this side. Okay, that might just be for that. Okay, and here we come to that swing bridge. Saw this in action yesterday. They let another boat pass through. And with having crossed over that, we are now at Denison.
notifications, I'll smash that like button on this video. I love this when they put the jacuzzi in the front. I love having that forward, you know, and you're, you're moving through the water and you're looking out. Okay, I'm walking off carefully and we've got some admirers of this boat here. Oh my god, this is slippery. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 you weren't kidding, huh? No, I'm not kidding. It's really slippery. How come? Huh? How come? I don't know. It's just steep. No, normally you wouldn't go on with socks on. Then you're fine. Oh, yeah. Julia from Philly. Julia from where? Philly. Philly. Philadelphia. So what brings you to uh, South Florida? Boat show? Some other things? A lot of other things, but boat show is definitely one of them. And how do you like it so far? I love it. Amazing boats. This boat is beautiful over here. We got four roses that I'm standing in front of. So come on and take a view. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a big one. So we're going to go uh, meet up with Justin again and uh, check out some more things over there so let's go we're gonna kind of make this I think like a Denison day today okay, synchronizing one two three synchronizing uh, this is which boat we're doing Helios and what is uh, this no furry name. thing it's gonna that's, bother me <laughs> that's not it's wind, wind screens okay <laughs> I'm here with Justin Neistat and Joe Lazara. And uh, okay, guys, after we get through our giggles here, we're gonna go tour some boats. Here at Denison. I'm sorry, yes. Actually, no, we roll yeah, We're good, we're good. I just wanna capture this, because this is fun. You don't see this normally when I do boat videos. I like this better. You want the clipboard? The little, the black and white one that goes like this. Action. All right, sorry. Gotta get serious. Right. <laughs> Pull my ears. That usually. Woo! All right. Yeah, this is the most fun you can have with your clothes on. <laughs> All right. You know. Okay, so Joe, if you could, if you could introduce. Okay. Um, Let's focus. Okay, on we've it. met Justin before. He's uh, given some great tours. We saw the Arthur's Way uh, before. What was that? We did that actually last year at Flips. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last year at Flips, we did Arthur's Way. It's a 118 Millennium. You guys might have watched. Uh, this year at the Palm Beach Boat Show, we did a walkthrough on a 102 Ocean Fast. It was designed by John Vandenberg. You might have seen that one. And this year, we're going to show you a 92 foot Lazara LSX. Um, we're going to show you a 67 foot Princess. And also, my buddy here, Joe Lazara. Say hi to Joe, everybody. Uh, and when uh, you say you're going to show us a Lazara, this is Joe Lazara. The this is Joe Lazara. Yeah. And he's also going to show you one of his new designs, which is a 40 meter Legacy. Awesome. Okay, awesome. lead we'll, the way. Well, yeah, we'll start here. Just This is the uh, model this boat is in build. It's about 10 months from being done. It's 135 feet. Top speed around 30 knots. ABS blast. It'll be finished at Lauderdale Marine Center. And then we're going to go aboard this 2012 92 Lazera. Okay. Take a look at that. Best mate in the world. This is Reef. This is my buddy takes care of me. Yeah, I've met Reef exactly. before. He's my man. He's also into uh, videography and some special yeah. effects oh, and yeah. Two CGI. On each side for docking. Okay. Port and starboard. This is the crew entrance here. So as we go towards the uh, the bow of the boat, you have a sun pad here which lifts up. There's storage underneath. There's wraparound seating here with the table. Okay, John was just explaining that what we're seeing here with these, uh, this, all these like hinges and everything, this all goes down. Right, the hard top collapses down. That allows a, a lower bridge clearance for the boat. Um, there's a radar on top, so all the wires run through these pillars here, um, and it collapses down. And then when you get under the bridge, obviously you put it right back up. 
Okay. It's one of the unique features, probably. Um, I haven't seen too many boats do this. We only did this one time. And it was a request by the Requ owner to be able to. Request by the owner, original uh, owner that, that, that built this boat wanted this um, this feature on the boat. Be able to pass under bridges. Uh, yep. Okay. That's right. Hope you enjoyed the tour. This is the 92 Lazera. Come back again. Thank you. Okay, we're just going to take another tour by ourselves. It's a really busy day today at the boat show. So a lot of brokers would love to give a tour, but they're just extremely busy. And you know, rather than kind of you know running back and forth waiting, uh, they just invited us to just go aboard, explore as we will. So here we go. So you know, I'm sorry if I don't have all the facts and all that, but again, always check the description of the video for all the stats, all the specs, everything like that. I try to get as much information as I can thrown in there. And right now, I'm just going to really focus on getting you know, uh, just kind of go into uh, cinematographer mode and just really kind of focus on getting you the best quality video of these. Okay, so I was told this is a really unique boat. I'm excited to see what kind of little secrets, what interesting things are happening on here. Things are definitely busy over at Denison Yachting, and there's Bob Denison himself. This is that large ocean fast that we did, the 185 foot, four roses. Okay, we're gonna be heading over there. I'm gonna check out lunch at Coconuts. Okay, so this is Dennis and Yachting. I think this is the Viking over here. I remember seeing something about a Viking being offered by them. It's a huge one, too. Covered quite a few Vikings, actually, at, I think it was, was it last year's Fort Lauderdale Boat Show? And I love the name of this one. Completely not.
What makes this part an interesting entrance exit section is that you can go to Coconuts, which is like right here at this point, and uh, get a bite at a great restaurant. It's been a long time since I've been to Coconuts, so I'm gonna check it out. I hope the wait's not too long. Yesterday when I caught it, so it was like over 30 minutes. So I guess it isn't too bad for these kind of crowds, so take a look. get a bite of coconuts you do have to exit the show and then you'll be re-entering right here as well so this is another bar section that's I think not part of coconuts separate here it is let's see what the wait time is hopefully not too long for one person so right now the wait is an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. I might skip this for today because I want to just kind of keep moving along and getting as many boats as we can see. But I just wanted to show you what coconuts looks like. They have outdoor seating here. Again, I ate here a long time ago. It's a great, you know, great uh, location on the water. Beautiful view. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like good old American comfort food, like burgers, mahi, mahi sandwiches, things like that. And uh, she was just pointing out, she says there's a Rob Oyster Bar as well. We'll take a look at that in the back here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on that for right now. Um, and if I do that, I'd like to like sit down. If, if I get it to go, it's like, where am I bringing that? So I might head back into the show, walk around this way and go over to the, um, I'm gonna go grab a cold drink from the media center. Definitely a good way to get around. Yeah. Bose Beach. So I opted for this place. No wait. That's awesome for one person. There was no wait. Like a 20 minute wait for two people. And here's a look at their menu. I think I'm going to go for one of the burgers. And then just enjoy that beautiful view. I can't get over the size of the straw. It's not like a forced perspective thing. It's, it's really big straw. It's a thick straw. I don't even drink with straws at all. Okay, let's take a look. Bacon, got that rub on it. Can't wait to dig in. Damn it. Looks like the tiniest dragonfly that just landed on the side there of my tray. Day away from Halloween. This place is huge. You have upstairs seating as well. So as for the chicken sandwich, um, honestly, I thought it was gonna be like bursting with flavor. It was really dry. It didn't really get that much of that rub taste to it, and. Um, it was, what I wound up doing was just asking for some more of the mango chutney and that definitely helped it out a lot. But yeah, I think I would go for the burger next time. The uh, person at the other table was telling me about the, they went for the uh, burger, they really enjoyed it, so I think we'll go for that.
Okay, finished lunch, heading back to the boat show to see some more and more and more. Okay, it's just across the street. So there are plenty of dining options where you can uh, eat something outside of the boat show, but like right next to it. Just to know you're gonna be able to get seating here a lot faster than a coconut. But also keep in mind you can get any food from these places to go, so that'll make it a lot faster as well. And now we're over by the Bahia Mar. I just wanted to show you what that looks like entering here. Denison welcomes you to Flips. Nice breeze right now. So I'm hoping that my little fuzzies that I put on the microphones of the phone are working well to cut out that wind noise. So I actually like the mics on this phone better than using like a road mic. This uh, phone just gets like a whole surround sound thing that's just amazing. If you want to hear that in action, just check out my Tormented Trails Halloween haunt walk through the woods and you just hear it like listen to that with headphones on, it's amazing. So here's another entrance at the Bahia Mar. I think this would be the most southern entrance that you can, yeah, the most southern entrance you can get to the boat show, or the main hub of the boat show on land. So that brings us over here where we have a lot of the accessories in these open tent areas. And then this is gonna be like over by where the Jungle Queen would be. These docks over here. We're taking a walk around the other day. Well, yesterday actually. And there's a famous jungle queen, kind of like a landmark of the waters here in Fort Lauderdale. And you'll be seeing more of that come Winterfest. That'll be all lit up. And in case you don't know, Winterfest Boat Parade is perfect for all you boat lovers out there because it's literally a boat parade. For the Christmas holidays, they light up the boats. They usually have a different theme. And uh, you'll see a whole bunch of boats from right here in Fort Lauderdale going down the Intracoastal all lit up for the holidays. That'll be in early December. The lighting with the clouds is just looking awesome. And we are now at the most southern point of this part of the boat show. I was asking some folks at the restaurant who were in from North Carolina what their favorite boat was that they saw and they said Outer Reef. So it could be this one right here, perhaps. Solace we saw last year at Flibs. Be sure to check out a full detailed video. Doing a walkthrough on this boat right here that you're looking at. I'll be sure to put a link in the description. So actually, let me correct. Before I was saying that I had a video of this boat, it's not this one. It's the one just across the way over there. And what you'll notice that's different. I like this. I like their use of the uh, Halloween theme. I like the uh, mermaid. Kind of fitting with having covered the how a scream at SeaWorld, the whole sirens theme. So this is the one that we covered last year. You'll notice on this one, inboards and diesel. So this is the one that I featured last year. And the one we just looked at with the inboards, that is making its debut at this year's Flips. Oh, 
This is interesting, a little Red Bull bar over here. Plenty of Vikings and Valhalla's on this channel. Be sure to see the links in the description. This one is very sweet looking, Okeen. Kind of has that front of the Absolute, has that same look. And this is Okeen, we covered this yesterday. And just wanted to show this one over here, the 55. <laughs> this is the head, so the head is, uh, you know, another word for head, bathroom is a water closet. So this is, this one I would say is a water closet, quite literally. And this boat that we toured on day one of the boat show is the winner of best in show. So big congratulations to Ocean Alexander for being this year's best in show winner. And here it is one more time. Be sure to see the full walkthrough of this beautiful boat. And that is the 35R. And I have a video of this one over here at 27 Metro. Be sure to check that out on this channel.
And this one is a 38 meter boat. The biggest one here at the show. Massive. This boat is making its world debut here. And they had a whole big reception for it the other day. And this is the 42. 47 is just right over there. And we'll take a look at both. So this is the Verve 47. And we were having a discussion about this over at Solace about how a lot of the Europeans don't like the outboard motors. That's very much an American thing. And I was saying, I'm sure eventually all the European companies will be you know, copying along with what America does. It's kind of like how the, uh, all the major car manufacturers now in Europe are making SUVs. And sure enough here, Azimut, Italian luxury brand, making some fast boats. And they've got those Mercury 450Rs proudly on display as outboards. Just like Cigarette and so many other beloved American fast boat companies. And the same thing with the 47 that we just looked at. And this is really interesting because I've never thought of Azimut as having smaller, faster boats. I always just think of them as a big luxury yacht. So very interesting to see this from Azimut. And we're going to take a look at their 76. Here's the specs. And that's going to conclude my day here on Saturday, fourth day of Flibs 2021. I'll be back tomorrow, fifth and final day. It's also Halloween. And uh, we'll be seeing some more and hopefully a live stream to close off the show as well. And actually quite a line to the water taxi today at this time. I 
I keep forgetting that I don't have to wait in those lines. They don't need to scan me if you're media. You can just walk right on, which is uh, one of the nice perks of being here is media. But I always forget I wind up waiting in line anyway. So. Oh, shoot. And now we do have to wait in a real line. Look at this for the super yacht village. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Oh, wow. Look at this. I mean, uh, in the past, the Super Yacht Village never like even had that many cars parked there, like the way it gets full so fast. So it's definitely a much more popular destination than it was in past shows. rocking back and forth we're waiting for another water taxi to leave so we just have to stay out here I love it when the boats are rocking it's like so calming I know some people get seasick but I love that feeling you know when it's gentle like this not when it's you know going crazy and you feel like you're gonna capsize that of course isn't fun there seems to be some sort of a special event happening over there at the super yacht village So let's just take a quick look. I'm not going to stay here long because I got to get back, get some things edited, get some rest for tomorrow. Be here early tomorrow morning. Anyway, here's Bob Dennison. We saw some of the uh, boats, the Dennison, beautiful boats. That yep. 185 foot ocean fast, the yep. Four Roses, unbelievable. Such a cool boat, right? Yeah, so tell us just real fast, like what's going on over here. The show's been amazing. Uh, this is the uh, History of Fort Lauderdale, uh, is honoring my grandparents, uh, who started Broward Marine back in 1948, and just for their um, impact in the Marine Industry Association of South Florida, the yachting industry's impact on our local community, and I'm really excited about it. I'm really proud of what they did, and uh, tonight's all about that. Well, that's great. Go cool. ahead and enjoy yourself. Thank you. And I'll see it. you tomorrow. All right. See you. Take Bye. care. Thank you. I felt bad not saying hi to Bob before, but he looked really busy over there at Denison. So it was great bumping into him uh, over here. He's like, I'm telling you, Denison's just everywhere. Everywhere you go, you see the Denison name. And uh, great guy, great people, uh, the whole family, all the, and even all the, uh, everybody there basically is family. Wonderful thing. So just take a quick.
peek at this from, from afar. And um, I spoke to Bob and he said that Ron DeSantis is not going to be there. So there's that, that letter over there, but yes, the governor is not going to be there. I was excited to see our great governor that, is, that has allowed us to have freedom and live our lives here in Florida. And with that, there's that awesome submarine. And with that, we're gonna go head out of here once again. There's so many great things always happening here. I mean, you could just spend from early morning to late at night every day. It's amazing. It's an amazing boat show. So I hope you enjoyed that tour around the show. Let me know by smashing the like button. Of course, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you can come along on other outings here on Fat 1010, the everything channel of SoFlo and beyond. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.